consider the force represented by the vector in the graph. Okay, so there we see there's a vector. It's again a force. So 605 newtons is the uh, unit for force. And we notice that it makes an angle of 48 degrees with this, the horizontal. Okay, let's see what their questions are. Calculate the horizontal component. It's no different than the previous example. The only difference is that we are actually given a sketch this time. So working with this sketch, let's see what we are doing. We are trying to calculate the horizontal component. In other words, if I were to go up here, okay, if I were to go up here, what would be the force in the horizontal, the component of the force in the horizontal direction? Maybe it will be easier for us to just go and draw our own sketch so that we can uh, write on it. So here we go. There's the force. Again, you don't need to be very accurate. Okay, when you draw the sketch, it doesn't have to be on scale. Okay, and we are trying to work out this horizontal component, and we are given that it makes an angle of 48. Okay, which means that we are trying to find the adjacent side given that this is 615 newtons okay now with that in mind we know that the force component in the x direction is equal to my force times cos the adjacent uses cos of theta that's the formula substituting into my formula is 615 cos of 48 okay and that gives me an answer of 615 times 48 cos is equal to 411.52 411,52 in other words that's the portion of the force that will go horizontally okay let's go and answer it in here oh, don't forget your units newtons answer first we do the formula which is f cos and again we type out theta preview looks good next we substitute with 615 cos of 41 uh, sorry not 41 48 48 we know that that looks fine and then enter our answer 411.52 newtons okay this preview perfect okay next question the vertical component no problem we are surely getting very efficient in this whole thing so there's the vertical component we notice it's opposite it's this the component that's opposite the angle and for opposite we use sine so uh, it's going to be the y is equal to f sine of theta and that gives me 615 sine of 48 is equal to 615 times 48 sine is equal 457.03 457,03 newtons and that is the portion that will be going in the horizontal direction sorry vertical direction now notice something how 48 is larger than 45 degrees 45 degrees will be exactly in the middle that would mean if it's exactly in the middle this this and that would have been the same 48 degrees is a bit bigger than 45 which means the opposite will get a little bit more force okay if I can say it like that and that's what we notice as well the um, opposite side or the vertical component is a little bit 
higher. If both of these were 45, you would have seen the answer would have been the same. But let's leave it there and go and answer, enter our answers. This is F sine of theta. That looks correct. Sine of 48. Preview looks good. And then finally entering our answer as 457.03 Newtons. There we go.